Well, I think we can um, we can get started. Welcome everybody to um, ECPAT UK's very first photography exhibition. I'm so excited. Um, my name's Patricia. I'm the um, Chief Executive of ECPAT UK um, and I'm joined today by my colleague Lois and members of our youth advisory group T and K. All of the photographs you'll see this evening in the exhibition are entrance in our Hopeful Futures photography competition. And we're so grateful to everyone for sharing their creativity and thoughts with us. We're together for this brief half hour to celebrate that generosity, creativity and ideas about freedom and life and to look together to a more hopeful future. I really wish we were together in person but I'm thrilled that so many could join us in this way, um, including many of the photographers who submitted. So a big welcome to them. Um, and not many housekeeping things from me, you'll be pleased to hear. Um, the event is being recorded and will be available on our website and YouTube channel. And please do tweet during the event using our hashtag Hopeful Futures if you'd like to. So, who are we? Who, who are ECPAT UK? I appreciate some of you may be new to us. Um, if you, thanks. So as this is an event celebrating photography and photographers, I wanted to share this photograph with you. It really represents to me who we are as an organisation. It was taken at the last residential trip we were able to offer young people um, pre-pandemic. And what I see is um, standing together with young people in solidarity and strength. I feel a warmth, I see relationships and community. And I love the fact that we're facing the sea together to respect privacy and safeguarding, but also having fun and celebrating being together. ECPAT stands for Every Child Protected Against Trafficking. We're a UK based child rights charity working for over 25 years now to protect and uphold the rights of every child to live free from abuse and exploitation. Our hope and vision is that children everywhere are free from exploitation, trafficking and modern slavery. And that's a global problem. The children and young people we work with are trafficked to, en route and within the UK and I'm proud that we're also part of the ECPAC global network of 118 member organisations across 102 countries, all committed to tackling the problem together. Our mission is to change and improve legislation, policy and practice, improve the child protection response in the UK and overseas, and ensure that children affected by exploitation are agents of change and part of the solution. So how, how do we do that? Um, our starting point is always the direct experiences, insight and knowledge of the young people we work with through our youth programme. We directly support children and young people through group work and peer support and provide expertise in children's cases. We raise awareness and mobilise public and lobby governments through our policy advo advocacy and campaigns work. And we're proud to say we're a campaigning charity. We deliver rights-based practical training to build the capacity of professionals and others working with children. And our expert team have trained thousands of frontline professionals across the UK and elsewhere, equipping social workers, police, foster carers, health workers with the skills to identify child victims and respond appropriately. We produced the first research into child trafficking in the UK in 2001 and continue to produce the only regular reporting looking at its nature and prevalence in the round and we work in partnership with lots of organizations communities and governments to build a common understanding and to enhance enhance expertise on protecting children our approach is collaborative rights-based and trauma-informed and we work together with young people supporting them to stand up for their rights and ad and to advocate for others and together we launched our stable futures campaign calling on the uk government to change policies that leave trafficked young people in long-term uncertainty and fearful about the future. And that's because what they told us is that the uncertainty that the systems they have to engage with 
every day prevent their recovery and participation in defining their future and lives. We know that the COVID-19 pandemic has had a huge impact on all of us. It's brought home the importance of hope, relationships and connection in defining what's important to us. There are things we want to get back to, of course, but there's also, I really feel a keen appetite for change that we don't have to return to how things were. And we at ECPAT believe that we can use our shared experiences to advocate for change so that all young people have the freedom to live the life they've dreamed. And that's why we launched our Hopeful Futures competition. Um, so the competition itself um, has run over the past six weeks, I think, um, and we called for original photos that captured your vision of a stable, happy and hopeful future. We had a very broad brief, but we wanted you to reflect on the question, what does freedom mean to you? And we said that photographs could depict anything that represent your dreams, future potential and a life without limits. Um, we wanted the winning photograph to inspire feelings of warmth, togetherness, hope and fulfillment. And we feel that we got that in bucket loads. <laughs> but let's see what you think. Um, and I hereby open <laughs> our exhibition.
Wow, I've, I've seen that before and I, I love it every time. It's so, so brilliant. It fills, it fills me with so much hope um, and optimism. Um, so we had a hard job um, and um, we pulled together a panel of, um, of people involving our, one of our trustees, Davina, and also um, members of our youth advisory group, T and K. And I am going to hand over to them now. Um, to announce our winners. We should have a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, good day everyone. And thank you all so much for coming. Uh, it's really a great, great project to do here. Like we are so proud to be one of the panel and the young people that have been involved in the project and it, it was just so amazing like seeing myself in here is like a great achievement to me and i'm so glad that you all came up as well yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'll start by announcing the third place winner for this session of this year uh i think we need to build some tension here now <laughs> <laughs> yeah um I think our winner for today um this person shows a picture of a bed and the name is Phil, Phil Powie. Yeah, that's our winner. Our, that's the third place winner for this year. And this photo shows a bed in the city during the lockdown. There was a considerable increase in the number of beds in the garden last year. With the sight of industry blood in the background, it shows how we can work with and live with nature for a better future. So this actually tells us a lot about freedom, which is not just freedom for you human, but for the animals as well, and the impact they are having in our society and our future as a whole. So the, the panel really see this as an interesting ways of describing a freedom, which, which really relate to living in the city, loving of bears, especially the animals, and having been keenly aware of all the changes and the that the original lockdown brought to us and how quickly that, that changes really implement during that lockdown. So we are so great to have you here too. Thank you so much for participating. Okay. Yeah, thank you. thank you. Now we are moving to the second place winner. <laughs> Another tension needs to be built. <laughs> <laughs> so our second place, our winner for the second place is, no. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Noah, for participating. We really, really appreciate it. This um this image as well, got like is so great, like a very good caption. So you can see like the caption was a very long one that was a very detailed one that shows like what freedom actually really means. Even bare meaning seeing the pictures, you might not know what this person actually was saying in the first place. But then after seeing the caption, then you get to see the inner part of the picture of the image so no made us not like i wondered what would my future look like i looked here and there had the, i look here and there and all and all i saw was white snow everywhere at that moment i just remember my sister once said to me your life is like a canvas and it is up to you how you will color it shape your future with things that you like even if it is hard the hand picture was just as majestic be just as majestic as others. As I looked up, I am determined that the sky is my limit. Whatever challenges I face in life will shape myself and my future. And for that, and for that, I am ready for whatever life offers offers to me. And this is what freedom feels to me. Insecurities shall not bring me down, but further push myself. So yeah, the the panel actually see this as one of the like multi. It's just like two in one picture explaining the freedom and the motive and being motivated as well at the same time so we really 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 actually appreciate you a lot though thank you so much for participating yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. we are here to announce our winner for this year exhibition yeah that, that comes with the first runner and this first place winner is Leila. Oh. Uh, that's amazing. Thank you so much for participating. Yeah. This 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 picture was actually a very big image that brings a lot of memories to me about what freedom is for you. Because I 
I can relate to the picture. I have everything, every benefit of examples that I get from that picture. Seeing the picture as well, it's just definition of freedom to me. So this was taken a few days ago when our football team was finally reunited together and could play a match. The atmosphere was so cheerful and excited. Everyone there was enjoying themselves and doing what they loved. So doing what they loved is actually freedom. <laughs> so, yeah. And so the panels see this and we place this as the first place as the winner of this exhibition because I love seeing the joy on everybody's face and I got a sense of real jubilation. We scored this high because it reminds us about the freedom we felt during our last outing at Hyde Park, which was which was organized by the Egg Park Youth Society. So that's why I said I can relate to this directly. So and just this just made me smile and feel so warm. So we really appreciate you later for bringing this and the very amazing memories to us. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you for coming to. Yeah, <laughs> that's our winner for this year. Yeah, thank you so much. Yay, thank you so much, T and K. That was brilliantly done and huge congratulations to all of our winners. Um, I don't know if anyone clocked, but the, the prizes, so um, Layla's winning a Fujifilm Instax camera, which I'm hoping she'll use well moving forward with her photography. And um, we were donated by Tony's Chocolate Only some um, chocolate bundles for our runners up. So um, they're on their way to you. Um, yeah, we've just, um, I, I can't stop smiling. It's been, it's been so lovely and joyful um, and a real antidote, I guess, to um, some of the kind of feelings of, of not being able to do the things that we wanted to. Um, and we're all looking forward, I think, to getting back together more. Um, so I, I'm hoping this is the first of many this, uh, of these exhibitions and that next year <laughs> we'll be able to, uh, to be together and kind of um, share a cup of tea or something. Um, so that'd be lovely. I'm gonna, um, this is all taking place in our um, Big Give week as well. Um, and I'm gonna hand over to Lois now so that she can explain a bit about that. Thanks, Lois. Thanks, Patricia. Um, let me just turn my video back on. Oh, it does not want to turn my video on. Um, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and explain um, the big if So, hi, I'm Lois. Um, I'm so sorry you can't see me um, having problems with my video. Um, but I am the fundraising officer at Ekpat UK and I'm really pleased to let you know that we're taking part in the Big Gives Match Funding campaign this week, which means that every single donation we receive is going to be doubled. So this means if you donate £20, we're going to receive £40 at no extra cost to you and your donation will have double the impact. This is going to be running until the 15th of June and we've raised about 25% of our target so far, so we would be so grateful for any support that you could give us. Um, I have put a donation link here on this slide, but if you just head to our website, you'll see a donation button in the top right hand corner, and that will just take you straight through to our campaign page. So that's everything from us today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you did want any more information about our work and what we do, um, please just go ahead and visit our website or you can send us an email at comms at ecpat.org.uk. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone.